Beach FM, locals talking to locals. Beach FM 106.3, and my pleasure to welcome now from the Paikakariki Community Board. Holly Ewans, a very good morning to you. And good morning to you, John. Lovely to talk to you, and it's wonderful seeing that we're getting, getting some events coming back. Um, I know that I was talking to our mutual friend Mary Gow, and she's got wonderful news for the weekend. It's feeling better, isn't it, Holly? Oh, it is. It is. With the uh, easing on gathering restrictions, it does mean that um, events and clubs and groups and things can uh, start back up. Um, some the, some people are easing into it with the clubs and groups, and uh, yeah, but it's good to it's good to see some things on the calendar on Park Acre mm. and Z again. That's for sure. Indeed, yeah. what is on the calendar, Holly? Well, tonight, it's Wednesday night at 7.30 till 9.30. Uh, we have Paikakariki Table Tennis, and that's at the Memorial Hall. That's Fano friendly. Uh, and um, you can jump on paikakariki.nz and see the details. Um, you can pay um, $25 for a family for the whole season, which is really cheap. Um, mm. And I hear it's um, it's a really fun, nice time, and there's no committee meetings or anything like that. So you can just roll up and um, and play some table tennis with some other people and families. And I do hear there's some pretty good players uh, who come along to that too. So if, if table tennis is your thing, yeah. then um, I suggest you get along to that. It sounds fun. Um, and also on Saturday, the 6th of June, uh, at 2 o'clock at St Peter's Hall. Now, St Peter's Hall has just had a new floor put in. Mm. So if you haven't, um, I can't imagine many people have had an opportunity to see it yet. So uh, here's an opportunity, which is on Saturday um, at 2 o'clock, um, a Apocrypha um, book launch. So it's a surrealist novel by Michael O'Leary. Um, oh. Some people might know Michael. Um, he was His publishing company was known as the Earl of Seacliffe. Mm. Uh, so he's better known as a poet. Um, yeah, so there's, you can jump online and jump on pakekariki.nz and read a little bit about his no novel too, Apocrypha Scripta. And so he's having um, a book launch at St. Peter's Hall at 2 o'clock on Saturday, um, which I don't think is any cost or there might be a koha to get in, but that's it. Um, and then, then, of course, as you mentioned, on Sunday, June the 7th at Memorial Hall, uh, the Mold Wine Concert Series kicks off again, uh, which you were just talking about with Mary Gow. And um, I know there's lots of people that will be really ready to listen to some music. Um, so that's really wonderful to see that taking off again. Again, it's, um, you know, seated and limited tickets. So um, do jump on pakekariki.nz and all the ticketing information is there and Mary's phone number. So uh, I encourage you to to um, to book in or buy your tickets early so to avoid disappointment. Those mulled wine concerts are very special, and I think that's one of the things that just marks us out as a as a very special place. And that was in the Memorial Hall, wasn't it? That's right, overlooking the beach. So it's a lovely spot. Holly, have you seen St Peter's, the new floor in St Peter's? No, I haven't seen it. Oh, yet, I really. see. I'm really excited to see it. Right. Um, so uh, we are organising, uh, Pakekariki.nz is organising to host a, a community celebration in the hall on the 20th of June. So I'll keep you posted with the details of that, but okay. it, includes an, it includes a photographic exhibition. And then um, a staggered evening, with, which includes soup and bread from the gardens and hopefully some music at the, um, well, it will include music at the end of the night, but I'll keep you detailed, um, I'll keep you posted with the details closer to the date. Excellent. Holly's also very much involved in that extraordinary website, pakakariki.nz, which is recommended to one and all. What have you been posting recently, Holly? Uh, at the moment, it's been updates on um, listeners might have heard me talk about. We have um, we started up a hub page uh, for yes. the COVID crisis, which uh, in any emergency we will uh, we'll, we'll start up this a similar. So um, I've been doing the hot information, which is basically um, updates as they come in 
uh, it's pertinent to the village. So I'm not doing national updates generally um, yes. because most people already know about those. So there's, um, there's a bunch of clubs and health and fitness classes. So there's the updates on that. So yoga classes have started up. So that's on there. The scouts, the football club um, can now begin training. So they have senior and junior teams with a phone number there. Paikakiki Pops are now doing June deliveries. Potty Potters have started again yeah. at the school. And the Life Save, Surf Life Saving Club has um, launched its operational plan for Level 2. And uh, you can download the guidelines there and, and read about that. Um, the bike library is operating in limited hours on Thursdays. Uh, and the market, which normally it would be this Saturday, has decided to wait until July the 4th um, before they start their first market back up so it's just keeping mm. those kind of information and if the dairy's shutting earlier and those yeah. things as, as has happened um over over lockdown uh at the moment the dairy is still closing earlier i think that um bavish has a young baby and i think it's rather nice to go home and to be mm. able to spend some time with the family um while the children are still up which um, everybody in the community can appreciate Indeed. And uh, you were also posting a, a rather nice story, not an event, but a story you were telling me. Yes, 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 that's right. So this is uh, some of your um, read, the listeners might remember the One Eye Gallery, which was upstairs in the Holtons building. Uh, Gary Fremantle, who ran that gallery, uh, has written a lovely history of the gallery uh, and with a foreword by Mark Amory, and uh, Mark Amory is uh, an art critic and writer. So it was really quite well known um, nationally and nationally recognised. Uh, he mixed um, an array of art outsiders and some based in Kapiti and then some from uh, all over the country, including Don Driver, mm. Joanne Margaret Paul, Kathy Barry, Rob Cherry, and Hiriataro Patatangahui, uh, John Baxter. So there's some, some great images, and it was a really lovely time in Paikakariki um, back then. It was in the late 90s and early 2000s. And this was before St. Peter's Hall sort of became the hub that it it is now mm. and um it was it was where you had your poetry and book launches um uh, it was a meeting place of all sorts of different people too uh so it was it's missed and um but it's really nice to have it yeah. recorded yeah on the, on the site excellent mm. central reading nz. lovely to talk to you holly thank you so much for your company okay thank you john take care 106.3 beachy film